I'm going to show you how to calculate player plus minus in a basketball context. So the most important thing to calculate plus minus in basketball is essentially how you code it up. So you'll need two rows, so offense and defense, and then within those two rows you'll need two things. If we go into the sort, we'll be able to see them. You'll need, first of all, you'll need all the players that are currently in the game as a group or as a label. So here we've got, as you can see, you know, all the players that are currently in the game. And if you want to know how to code that into your row, I have a um, tutorial about scripting player minutes, and I go through it there. So you're going to have to need all those labels of all the players that are currently in the game. And then the second thing you're going to need is the shot results. So here I've got Miss 2, May 2, Miss 3, Miss 2. Um, you know, Miss 2, Miss 2, where's the made shot? There it is, made 3. So you're going to need all those shot results also in those rows that include all the players that are currently in the game. So you'll need that for offense and defense. So that was offense, but I have it the same for defense. I have all the players that are currently in the game, and then the shot result. Once you have those two things, those two rows, we can come into the scripting. And it, kind of like a recipe, I'm just going to tell you what the ingredients that you're going to need. So you're going to need a player. In this case, we've got Luther Muhammad. You're going to need to identify those two position rows. So a high state offense, a high state defense, a variables home team and away team. Then after that, we can start scripting um, the rest of this, this stats. So you're going to need to calculate all the points while the player that you're trying to calculate the plus minus for is on the court. So count label made two and player, which is going to be Luther Muhammad, where row equals home team, then times two, because he scored two points, or the team scored two points, do it for made three, and then all the free throws, calculate that all together, and you've got your points for. Repeat the same thing for the other team, except instead of having home team or a higher state offense, you've got a way team, which is representing a higher state defense, then add that all together, and you've got your points against, then your plus minus is going to be points for minus the points against, and then we've got a couple of if statements. So if plus minus is greater than zero, we're going to create a new variable, show plus minus, and that equals the plus, uh, the plus symbol, then plus the number of plus minus. So that's just so, like when you show the stat, it's got that plus in front of it when it's above zero. Otherwise, it's just going to have the number there, and you don't know if it could be below or above. But if plus minus is less than zero, that same variable from the line above, show plus minus, is just going to equal plus minus. Because if it's less than zero, we don't need to add that negative sign, because the scripting will fortunately do it for us. So it's going to have the negative uh, logo or symbol, and then that plus minus number. Then what we have to do is show plus minus, or show uh, the variable of show plus minus. And then that show there is just, you know, for that movie capability. So if you want to click that button and show some sort of uh, movie or video. In this case, we've got the shots made by the player. <coughs> Pardon me. So now when we come into our plus minus step, we've got plus 12 for Luther Muhammad because it's done all those calculations for us. If we just do another example, we'll just put um, number three, Jackson. And, you know, here was a negative five. So that's how you calculate plus minus. If you have any questions, my email is in the description. Other than that, happy scripting.